y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is brianna and there's a car parking next to me this is so weird well that's really awkward i'm at walmart just grabbing a snack welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Brianna and I am a fourth year third grade teacher in North Carolina thank you so much for joining me in my absolute favorite videos to film for you guys my classroom setup and it is starting early this year things have been changed new people have been hired and they're just not as strict as people have been in the past so I have my keys, which means I have free range to go into my classroom, and I am so excited. Now, this year is going to be a little bit different than years in the past because I've already been to my classroom two days, but not full days at all. I haven't really done much. However, I'm going to roll those clips first because I've just been playing with the layout of my classroom and moving things around. So that's what I'm going to focus on in this video. And I kind of want each video to have like a specific focus. And of course, when you go into your classroom, you should have certain tasks that you're trying to accomplish. So if you're interested in seeing me figure out this whole actual layout of my classroom using the designs that I created over the summer on PowerPoint, if you missed that video, go ahead and click here. Yes, I used PowerPoint. I didn't use some crazy program. I just measured thing, things out, but I explained it all there. So check that out. I came up with different designs and now I'm just moving my furniture and seeing what works best for me. So. I apologize for the first two days. They're pretty short, but it's just a hodgepodge. It's going to be more specific as we go on. So, let's go. Oh, oh my goodness. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I post a new video, especially these classroom setup videos, and give this video a thumbs up for a new, fresh start. Let's go. Hey guys, it is 12.16 and I'm about to head to my classroom. Um, this is not normal, but me and my coworker are going to see if we can get in and, you know, do some stuff because we're extra. Okay. <laughs> so if we get in, I'll see you there. All right, before I go inside, I just wanted to show you guys, I did print out my design. Someone was asking me what is the classroom design program. This is just on PowerPoint, guys. I essentially have three designs, so I just printed them out to do a page. We'll see how it goes. My plan is to move furniture today, but I'm waiting on my coworker, so we'll see what happens. All right, the good old air conditioning is <clears throat> running, which is fantastic, you know. So there's room for a table here, and like that flows nicely. I like it but I just feel like my boards are blocked in the back. <clears throat> so, if I do this design, I can move the cubbies up here and I might like that better. Oh, I have to decide. So, there's the door and I have my longer cubbies my shorter cubby which doesn't fit before the bump in the wall unfortunately and my carpet and what I was thinking is I could make this side the size that the side that my students don't use so they won't be coming in and walking on the carpet to use the cubby I still have room to push it this way a little bit because I was originally gonna make this one the side they don't use that way they don't bump into these people but it wasn't that big of a deal last year when I had it like that so we'll see I am headed to my school today to um, sit in on some interviews for our new team member and so I'm gonna see if I can sneak into my classroom for a little bit too so let's go well guys we're in and the air is raging so this is what I was working with last week. 
There are smaller bookshelves in my old room. I know it's dusty. I'll dust it before I put things on it. That I might put down along there, but actually, I think I might leave it blank. And then I'm gonna push this back so that this will make more sense right here because I do want this to be closed. So that's what we're working with right now. Yes, I have to take the paper down. I'm taking the number line down, that sign over there. The TV is also coming down this year. And then those are for the teacher who left this room. I'm also taking down that alphabet. <laughs> so I moved this up farther. If you see, there's like an old school call button here and the phone cord. I was afraid to put these in front of this because I don't want to push the button. But if they're locked and they're a little bit off the wall, it'll be okay. So I think I'm gonna leave it like that because there's enough space when you come in the door. And moving those forward like that, keeping this like this, allows me to put this set of cubbies before that pole. And that is what's necessary to be able to close my library like this. So I think I'm gonna keep it like that. I have one more bookshelf over there and that one I think I'm gonna switch out with this one because this one's a little bit taller than this one and I think the one over there is the same as these. So I'm gonna bring that over here. All right, so we are making some progress. I think when that TV is taken down, I wanna put this against the wall because it looks just very overpowering with that empty corner, but I want to put that turning thing in that empty corner. It just doesn't fit now because of the TV, or it might. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that bookshelf. It's a really nice bookshelf, so I don't wanna get rid of it. This doesn't have to be jutted out, but it makes for different sections in the room, so I kind of like it. And then this is my desk set up over here. I put that small bookshelf under the window, so I guess I could do the same over there. I like the way that looks. And then I had these two tall ones here. And then I got this stand-up easel. We had an extra easel. Actually, this is the one that was in this classroom. And I really want one for a small group because I tried the easel from the Target Dollar Spot, but it just took up so much space on the table. So I wanted to change to this. That is what my area is looking like leaving both the outlets open on either side of the bookshelf, which is really helpful. This cart can always go right there. I may have to pull the desk out just a little bit more, but I feel like this room is huge. Now, granted the desks are clearly not set up yet, but I just feel like I have so much space. I can even open it up more if I put this against the wall here instead. But like I said, we will see. I'm not gonna set up desks yet. And I also do have this rectangular table that was in here and I have a trapezoid table. I have possibilities for those. I just feel like the room is huge. This is so much progress. Now my carpet area, honestly, I'll probably move this chair actually over here because there's so much space over here. In my donor's shoes, I was getting two of those, so if I could have two, that would be super cute. Oh, and then my filing cabinets can go right here. I can also display stuff here for small group. Guys, I'm loving this. When I decided to move to this classroom, it was seriously on such a whim, but it was the best decision I could have ever made. I'm loving this layout. Let me know what you think of it. I know it's a hodgepodge still, but I see it. I see it. It may just be me, but I could never stand the butcher paper where it doesn't fit on the whole board and you have to layer it. Like, obviously you can't really tell, but, oh gosh. And look at that fading. <laughs> Thumbs up this video if you agree with me. But this paper is about to go into the trash. Hey guys, I just got through with interviews. I didn't really touch base. Wow, my face is shiny. <laughs> I tried not putting on powder today. We see how that works. 
So just got through with interviews. My coworker came a little before, so that's why I didn't say bye. I'm going to interviews. But interviews are such an interesting experience. My goodness, I can give you guys tips based on the things I just sat through. I think we found the one though. I'm really excited and I'm so glad that she was there. But back in my classroom, I'm gonna eat some apples because I've literally only eaten two eggs today and it's five o'clock and I'm starving. But I got my keys so I can come back whenever. So the classroom setup starts now. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. And the room looks so huge. Before I do desks, I think I'm gonna take everything off the wall that I don't want, and then I'll get a setup going. I'm super excited. I actually even have more space up front than I thought. Well, it depends on how my projector goes because this desk is pushed up farther, so. There's just all the room in the world, baby. All right, we are back day three. My game plan for today is to get the things off the walls that I mentioned yesterday and to also turn two filing cabinets into one. This is all actually my third grade stuff. This is all fourth grade. fourth grade so I can easily combine fourth grade into one drawer dumping zone oh this is my happy box <laughs> those are all the kids oh look someone made me a donut I honestly think some of this is fourth grade too dumping zone and incredibly dumping zone so I'm gonna consolidate it into one filing cabinet, and then I think I'm gonna move the filing cabinet over here. Unfortunately, the air conditioner is right there, so I think it won't fit flush against the wall, but we'll see. This is not going to stay here. I know when I'm sitting at small group, I won't be able to see this area, but I like how it's separate. That might be helpful. So I'm just gonna leave that for now and I'm gonna get to work on those filing cabinets. Yippee. Ladies and gentlemen, it is complete. I can show you that every drawer in this one is empty. It actually wasn't that difficult to clear it out. All of my <laughs> memory notes and things from my kids I just put in this bucket for now. I'm gonna have to figure out how to better organize this and kind of sift through because when kids found out that that drawer was where I keep the things they gave me they automatically put it in there so I had to keep everything and even though everything is so sweet like look at this <laughs> so I'll have to sift through that at some point this is all the random stuff that just happened to be in there that I'll have to organize but let me show you what I did here so Third grade on top. This is an empty drawer. These are extra folders. I had content papers from my first year of teaching. We were told we had to keep them, but now those kids are in middle school, so we don't need them anymore. But they're just extra hanging folders and it's completely empty. Another one completely empty. And then the bottom is where I put all my fourth grade stuff just because I'm not really gonna reference it. However, I don't wanna get rid of it just cause it's all neat and organized. I am going to have to go through all the files at some point, especially like my, I have a couple like beginning of the year activities meet the teacher files that obviously I want one of at the top of this. So that is that. I found all of my binders that I was looking for, all my empty binders. I think I'm going to move this one now over there and then I'll start figuring out what I'm gonna do with the rest of this stuff. I wouldn't mind keeping these in one of the drawers since they're empty, 
because then it's easier for me to switch my calendar out. But that little stuff, I don't really know how I'm gonna store it yet. So I could use an empty drawer just to store it. But then this, I'm gonna send to one of the new teachers. All right, that is accomplished. The only thing is, and I'm sorry, I know the air is right here, but the only thing is I was thinking I can use that whole back of the cabinet for like displaying things for small group, but I could also use this part. And this is magnetic, so I can just get two magnets and clip anchor charts up or something. I'm not gonna keep all those little magnet things there. I'm just leaving them because I'm not really organ organizing and cleaning right now. I just scooched this over here for now. I am going to get rid of it. I just wanted to put it here um, to get it out of the way and not be in the middle of my floor. I was thinking like maybe that'd be a good idea to keep it there and then I can have the kids lunch count like I did last year and it would be facing me at my computer. However, in the future, I'm going to want to have a desk here for a child and that doesn't leave space. So I'm going to definitely keep it over there. It's easier to have it near my table anyway. I guess I have to deal with this first before I deal with anything else. I have organized this stuff and figured out what it all is. This box is literally just folders. You get the teacher parents communicator every year. So this is from the first year actually, I think. Return to school, keep at home. My second year I had red and then last year I had green. And then this year, I think I got yellow. We always have extras. I just hold on to them for new students and whatnot. And then I had a pack of these folders for some project my first year and now they're just all in here. And also my first year, I bought the like 20 cent folders from Staples or Office Depot or something because I wanted all my kids to have the same folder and I didn't know that the school provided them for us. So, I just have a lot of folders. It's good to have if kids don't have supplies, but it's frustrating to take up space in my classroom. So, I'll have to figure out a plan for that. These two binders are technically empty binders, but also I have a lot of dividers in here because my first year I had 90 students, so I had a binder for each class, therefore 90 <sighs> dividers. And then I have these from the Dollar Tree. Um, they're just little pockets that clip in. So I'm not using them right now. I just wanted to store them in a safe place. And then these are the dividers that I use in my data binder. Again, I had a lot more students last year. I've accumulated a ton of dividers. I might use some of these for my students this year in their own data binders. That way they don't have to purchase them since I do have so many. But these are the ones that I use because they have a folder I can store tests or anything that I wanna hold on to for that child or any interventions we do. Sheet protectors and then I just have an empty binder and two legal pads here. I have the regular one and then this clipboard one. So honestly, since I do have an empty drawer in my filing cabinet, I think I'm just gonna bring this stuff back over there. That way it'll just be out of the way and it won't take up precious cabinet space. All right, got all that stuff cleaned up and out of the way for now. I moved the tower in because nothing's going to be there and I'm gonna start setting up my desks. So the first thing I'm gonna have to do is push all these chairs that way and then this trapezoid table. I don't think I'm gonna put a table up here because it's already gonna be such a skinny walkway. So I think I'm just gonna bring it to the back of the room for now. All right, side note, I'm swapping easels. This is my old one and the four are all on the same level. And this is a teacher that's leaving and they're stacked. And I just feel like that looks much better than this also. I wouldn't have this chaos. So I'm gonna swap this stuff out and put that one All right, so I changed my easel to towers. And then this is all the stuff that was in my easel. So now I have to go through that. <laughs> all right, guys. So just the most standard desk arrangement right now. I enjoy doing this for the beginning of the school year because it's very simple and to the point. If you see that table back there, 
don't know what's going on with those desks, but I'm gonna get that fixed. I'm not dealing with different size slanted desks this year. Like this one, I don't know what's happening there. That table in the back, I could easily keep it against the wall and put some chairs around it for a small group area back there. I don't wanna put it in here because I like that that's open. So that would be fine. It's probably something I'll do. Or with that trapezoid table up front, bring it to the back like that. Obviously the rectangular table offers much more space, but I'll put both back there and see what I like. My white drawers are going to go. I'm trading them out for black ones with five drawers. The two on the top are gonna to be tall and skin, I mean not tall, they're gonna be skinny for centers. So right now I'm gonna work on the stuff on the carpet because that's gonna bother me. Let me tell you what I have going on here. I have those newspapers and they've been laminated and cut. They are from Space Camp and it's a whole bundle of articles that were ever written about US space exploration. That's just really special. I have just never gotten around to folding it and storing it. I feel like it's important for kids to see a true newspaper, you know? I have these place base 10 block mats and I literally had so many of them. I kept 22 because I can't have more than 22 students. So the rest I'm going to put on the donation table. Um, those colored pencils and markers are for my anchor charts. Number talk book I can put in a different location after the fall is my favorite book. I can store those somewhere else. Centers are gonna go in the colorful drawer. This is a pack of these magnetic fractions but those are fifths tenths and twelfths and we don't do that so i need to store those away these are all the pocket charts that i am keeping one is an equivalency of fractions which i need to remember that i have so that i hang up as a resource this year it also has decimal things but we don't need to go into that these are just literally chart pockets. When I bought them, I don't think I realized that it was just like a protector, but it'll just protect some kind of poster that I'm putting up and it's larger than your typical dry erase sleeve. So I wanna hold on to those. This is my Venn diagram and I love it. This is the black file folder sorter that someone sent me last year from my Amazon wish list. And then these are just your typical pocket charts. They're the ones that I had. They're from the Target Dollar Spot. They're the ones that I had on my bulletin boards last year for, vocab for vocabulary. I have sentence strips. I'm gonna store all of this in a cabinet. And then I have a 120 chart and a multiplication chart. I need to store those nice and neat. And now I'm organized. I just went around and put a sticky note on any of the desks that have issues. If you notice, this one has a ball on it because the foot is too short. Uh, that one's slanted and the rest are just super wobbly. So there are six, six of them. I have 22 desks right now. I have the possibility of having 22 students. So I need to keep 22 desks in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and at some point switch out these desks with our extra classroom now and get ones that are actually working. <laughs> Whew, that is a lot of work carrying a desk down the hallway and coming back. <laughs> I have two more to switch out. This is gonna be my last resort because this one doesn't wobble. It just has the foot. So essentially, it's a good desk. It just looks weird, but that's okay. This one is the only super wobbly one left. I know it seems like all of them wobble. I th also think it's this floor. I really, really think it's this floor. So I may just have to leave it, <laughs> but I am sweating. That is not a glow. I feel like I have accomplished a ton these past few days and I don't want to make these 
way too long. Let me know down below what you're most excited to see in my classroom setup. It's slowly but surely coming together and I have a whole like two extra weeks this year because typically we don't get in until August 1st. So this is awesome. I guess I'll go down and rip the things off the wall because I keep saying I'm gonna do that and I never do. It's definitely coming together. I was thinking about doing, don't worry about that height difference back there, I'm going to fix it. But I was thinking about doing in the back groups of four since I do have more room back there. Uh, like always, I'll just have to play around with it though. And I think when that cabinet's pushed over, it'll be much better. We are coming along. I didn't show you, this area is cleaned up. Essentially, I took everything and shoved it in a cabinet, but my cabinets are going to be one day a thing that I get to. I'm super happy that I got this easel. The teacher who left actually happened to come in. So I just thought that was a sign that I needed to go get it because our classrooms are locked. One last thing before I go. I know it looks so tiny and random, but this is a neon sign and it is a donut. I got it at Target. Thank you so much to Jade for letting me know that it was there. It was on an end cap and unfortunately I can't plug it in because I need a cube, but I am going to use that as my small group light. Do not disrupt is when I'm gonna plug that in. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. And it's not like a scary neon light. Like, this is all squishy. So it's not dangerous. And it's, I don't know. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to light it up. I think that is like the most adorable touch that could have ever happened to my classroom. <laughs> With that being said, I think I have done a ton today and I am going to head out. Super excited with my progress. Like I was saying before, make sure you leave something down below. What are you most excited about for classroom setup or like what do you most want to see? So I can make sure that I film that. If you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe because I know I look at my analytics and a lot of you are not subscribed. So what are you doing? If you subscribe, you'll easily be notified when I have a new video. And we are so close to 20,000 guys. That is just incredible. Once I hit 20,000, I mean, I'm already happy, but like saying I have 19,000 subscribers, 20 is just so even, you know? Literally. So, <laughs> um, I am super, super excited about that. So make sure you thumbs up this video. That way it can reach as many people as possible and I will see you all in my next one. I am so excited. Who's gonna make me that shirt? I say it all the time. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, bye.